Hello everyone, welcome to Alpha Wisdom. I'm Misty Cassandra and this is Lesson 114, 114. I trust that you've had a wonderful holiday. You're staying safe and taking care of yourselves and certainly enjoying yourself the holiday. Okay, today's lesson is about the heart line. We're going to be looking at things we've already talked about, but we're going into greater detail. So today we're going to talk about where the heart line goes. Once it starts, it starts to rise up. What does that mean? Suppose it rises, for example, rises here under this finger. This is Jupiter. This part here is the mount. Remember, it takes the same name as Jupiter, or it may go between the fingers, go up this way. That's between the index or Jupiter and the middle finger, Saturn, all right? And the third way, it can rise up and go toward the middle finger. That's Saturn. Each one means something. So that's what we're covering today. All right, we're getting started now. Okay, here's an example, a chart of the heart line as it rises to, turn this around a little more. I think that's better. Okay, as it rises to, well, wherever it's going. In this first example, we can see that it's rising from the Mount of Jupiter, that fleshy part below, to the finger. So this is what we have here. When it rises from the Mount of Jupiter to the Jupiter finger, of course, we have the development of the sentimental side to the affections, okay? The individual is one whose love is ideal, to whom love is an adoration, and to whom love, even with poverty attached, is attractive. So it's like they're focusing on the person, not what the person has, not the surroundings of the person, of course, in the back of their mind, that's kind of important, but the affections are drawn to that person and the things surrounding it take second best. I'll put it that way, all right? So that's what it looks like. That's the heart line. The other line on the page is the lifeline, okay? We're not talking about lifeline there, but at least it keeps our focus where it should be, okay? Let's move on to our next example. All right, here's the heart line. Notice it's rising between Jupiter and Saturn. Saturn. That is the index finger and the middle finger, okay? So when the line moves like you're seeing here in this example, it shows the common sense, practical, it's like middle ground with the affections. This indicates that the person who is not, the person who is not carried away with sentiment, but who views love from a practical standpoint. This person is never carried away by sentiment. And while strong in their affection, they're not, they're sensible, but they're not foolish. Does that sound like you? Okay. So we categorize this because everything is labeled in any discipline. So as the sensible person or com uh, I should say common sense, sometimes they're just called middle ground. Okay. They sh have affection, they have feelings, but they don't get carried away. Okay. All right, so that's what that one is. We will leave this and go to our last one. All right, so far we've covered in our discussion, sentiment, that was the first one. The second one was common sense. So we have now this third one. Look at this one. It goes up past 
or rising from the Mount of Saturn. Remember, it takes the name, the Mount takes the same name as the finger. So if it's rising from Saturn, it's going to the Saturn finger or middle finger. Okay, with this one, this shows the sensualization in the affections of one whose love is tinged with the idea of pleasures from sexual relations. This is true, however, or infallible, when there is a large Venus mount, that's your thumb ball. If that's lodged, when it's lodged, it's well-defined. It's firm. Okay? And in addition to a large or well-defined thumb ball, we look at the lifeline. Is that well-defined? Is that strong-looking? And the other line is the Mercury line. If that's well-defined, then for sure that the love is tinged with the idea of pleasures from sexual relations, okay? These will tell of a physical desire by the point of which the heart line starts and of physical strength sufficient to carry out these desires by the other indications. In other words, you're centered around sexual pleasures, and you have the strength and the fortitude, if you have this, with a strong thumb ball, well-defined life and mercury lines, you have the fortitude and the strength to handle yourself quite well. I'll put it that way, okay? All right, we've come to the end of this lesson. When we go to the next lesson, we will continue talking about the heart line. We won't talk about this. There's something else to talk about. Well, if you've enjoyed the lesson, you understood it, thumbs up, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking with the channel. It's growing slowly but surely, and I'm hanging in there, so I hope you are too. Take care of yourselves, please, and by all means, be happy. We're going into a new year. Things will get better. Okay. Bye.